Hey, young boxers. I want to, and, and those who would be thinking in boxing or getting in the fight game, I want to explain to you a little bit about what boxing is about and what it's really related to. Uh, most boxers don't know this. They may feel it at times. Most boxing trainers do not know this. Promoters, judges, referees, very few people understand this truthful perspective of boxing and the fight game in general. It could be bare knuckle, MMA, uh, jiu-jitsu, all sorts of things. Boxing is taking yourself as a sacrificial lamb. When you decide you really want to be a boxer, the sacrifices begin. You sacrifice playing games. You have chosen to be in the one sport that can't be played that is not a game to be won. It's something to be won, all right, but it, it's, boxing is not a game. It's the only sport, and the fight game in general, is the only sport venue that you don't play. You literally sacrifice the world. Uh, you sacrifice the silliness of this world. You sacrifice things that normal boys would do, uh, such as polluting their bodies with anything from junk food to a cigarette to beer to drugs or whatever. You sacrifice everything that the normal fella does. You work daily building and achieving and striving. You spend your days in pain and everything strenuous and backbreaking for you. You work and you work and you work and you go through many trials and tribulations, not weekly, not monthly, but daily, almost hourly, you are sacrificing something. You are pushing in the most strenuous of strenuous of ways in something. Daily. You get up while others are sleeping. You go to sleep early while others are having fun or what they consider to be fun. You reap a different kind of reward for the work and the effort that you put forth than any other boy in any other sport. You go it alone. You get up in a ring and it's only you and the other boy. Think about that. 
think about that before you decide that you would like to be a competitive boxer. You offer yourself up. You sacrifice yourself, your well-being. You put yourself in a small little place to suffer and go through pain and go through agony yet you offer that up you offer that up you sacrifice that when you start thinking about boxing it's almost like worshiping Jesus Christ it's almost like being a Christian as a matter of fact it is almost just like that you make sacrifices that people that you you see that maybe you don't know about uh, Maybe you don't realize why do they not do this? Why do they not do that? Why are they serious when uh, things are funny to me? Why do things get under their skin when they don't get under my skin? Well, people look at you like that, young boxer. And they say, why is he sacrificing this and that? Why does he not do this? Why is he so serious over this while... Yet we are being silly and plain. Christ offered himself up on the cross. Now, some would say that, well, that's nothing like boxing. We get in there and we fight back. <laughs> Little have you been taught. Little is talked about what happened after the suffering on the Christ, uh, on the cross. Uh, Jesus went down and had a battle and yanked the keys to hell up. Out of there. It was a battle. It was suffering. And it was getting to the end and it was winning and it was fighting the good fight. And that's what this sport's all about. There's a lot of badness in it. There's a lot of ugly in it. But make no mistake about it, young boxer. Every time you get in the ring and you fight the good fight and all the sacrificing it took you to get into that ring, it's just you facing another Christ went through all these things preparation honing skill in a physical body even though he's God the God son and what happened on the cross started a big battle that's not talked about because we didn't see it with our own eyes, but we know it. He went down and boxed, wrestled, and defeated Satan and took the keys of hell that day so that you wouldn't have to go there. And he's laid the choice with you are you, do you make the decision to sacrifice on a daily basis on everything I just mentioned before? And let me ask you this, young boxers. When you, uh, have you ever had a perfect fight? Has any match or tournament you've went to, has everything went perfect for you? Has training days always been perfect? Have you gave up and, and stopped a minute early here or there? Of course you have. 
of course you've fallen short, and of course you will continue to. And that's why the biggest fight was won by Christ against the devil, and those keys were yanked out of his hands so that you and your total in imperfectness, although you strive to be, but you're not. To give you that chance that when you do get in the ring, as imperfect as you'll be, that you can win the glory of it. Yeah. A lot of people aren't going to like this, but that's okay. Being a boxer is not like being a Jewish fella. Being a boxer is not like being much like being a uh, a Muslim fella. Or these ten minute haters up in Chicago that seem to fool so many kids. But it is like Christianity. In, in Christianity, you fight the good fight. There was a fight. And there's another one coming. And it's going to be here before we even know it in the blink of an eye. So if you can make all that sacrifice, it's other things you can clean up and sacrifice as well. And try to. Just try. Every boxer has people that put faith in him. So it's time to put your faith in somebody that's greater than you. And you'll shine in greatness. No matter what happens, you'll shine in greatness on how you conduct yourself, how you treat others, the seriousness about yourself, and you'll rise above. You may be 8, 9, 10, 12, 14 years old, a little older, a little younger. But conduct yourself decently. Strive to be the best you can. Fight the good fight. And the fight that goes on before you get in the ring, before the tournament bell begins, that's the fight. Everything that you've sacrificed, the getting up early, the going to sleep early, the eating correctly, uh, the building of your body, the building of your mind and your heart that brings forth great character. All of that's done before you even get in the ring. Before the tournament bell sounds. All of that has already been finished. And then you have the ability to step in the ring and grab glory. And let me tell you, I don't care who tells you anything else. When you get in that ring, and you face that other fella, you have gotten, grabbed a hold of, and seized, and possessed your glory. Because you are of a special breed of boy, young men, and men. You've already seized your glory. It's already been obtained. And don't you let no boy, no feeble, silly a brain with a, a heart of marshmallow that has no firm concrete to stand on himself ever tell you any different. You don't even have to bite back on these people. Because you can laugh on the inside because they are the joke. You are not the joke. You are the true possessor of honor 
and glory.